Hey DNS, Brian here, uh, your fitness coach. Just here to give you some simple information on something called joint mobility. And read the article if you want to know a little more about joint mobility. And read my new book that I just finished a couple weeks ago if you really want to learn a lot more than that about joint mobility. It's even got links in there and more information. Basically joint mobility is something you should be doing every single day. Especially if you sit in front of a computer for a lot of the day. Now I'm a trainer, I'm up on my feet most of the day, but I spend a good amount of time on my computer too because I write articles and I make videos and I do things like that. I send a lot of emails and I communicate with people. So I do this stuff because I sit down quite a bit too. Now these are just a few simple exercises for you to do when you sit down all day long. And these are dealing not even with the lower part of your body, which you do need to deal with, but we're not going to get there yet today. These just deal with a couple of upper body areas that get real tight and get in bad shape from you sitting in front of a computer all the time. So here are the exercises. Uh, basically it covers three areas. Your neck, your shoulders, and your wrists and hands and fingers. So neck, shoulders, wrists. Now here are the neck exercises. First start off going side to side. And you can do this sitting down. That's the whole point of it. Now you want to go real light and go real gently at first. Because a lot of you probably quite honestly have really messed up necks. So go side to side. Go about 10 to 20 times on each side. Okay, now you're going to go back and forth. Hopefully I picked my nose before I did this so you guys can't see any boogers. I think I did. I picked my nose a lot. So go back and forth like that. And again, about 10 or 20 times each way. Next one is side to side this way. Again, on this one especially, you'll notice I'm closing my eyes because you get a little dizzy if you leave your eyes open the whole time that you're doing it. But when you do this one, don't push really hard and try to crank away on your neck especially. You're going to get a strain in your neck if you do that. Ask me how I know. I've done it. Okay, next one is neck circles. One direction, the other direction. And go back and forth like that. 10 to 20 times each way on that one. Next one is shoulder shrugs. Now if you look at me sideways, I'm making a forward circle with my shoulders. Okay, so about 10 to 20 forward and then about 10 to 20 backwards. This is really going to help loosen up the area around your neck, that area that gets really tight when you get stressed out. These muscles right here, the trapezius, you go like this. You get it driving and you get it being at the computer. Last exercise is you want to cross your fingers like this and start out just going side to side like that. Pulling down with this hand, pushing down with this hand. And reversing and just going back and forth like that and then you can speed it up a little bit. About 10 to 20 times each side and then the last one is you're going to roll the wrist over the top of the other one with the fingers crossed. And my wrists are pretty much touching when I do this. So I'm forcing a lot of mobility into that area by doing this exercise. Now what you want to do is you want to do these sets, these this whole set of exercise about every hour throughout the day. You can't do that, do every two hours. Just do it consistently throughout the day. Just like the first video I ever sent you guys. It was about moving, getting up and moving, doing a simple dynamic joint mobility circuit about every hour to two throughout the entire day. If you do that, it's going to make a huge difference for you. I'll see you guys next month.